Hey, this is Travis with Redwood Motorsports. We're just going to give you guys a quick overlook of how the, uh, the assembly of our shocks goes. Um, we've had a number of people with questions about what part goes where exactly. It's, uh, it can be kind of hard in instructions to really be able to see what, uh, what part is what. So we thought we'd give you a quick run over of uh, the stack up or how everything goes. So basically, first things first, this is how the shock is going to come to you, just like this with the adjuster knob on top. The first thing you're going to do is take off that adjuster knob. If you want to double check everything inside, it's very simple. Just pull up this boot. This is what you should see inside. It should have the bump stop, this little black plastic spacer here, and then the bump stop perch right here. That is all you need under the, uh, the dust boot. Once you've confirmed that that is there, just get that seated properly on there just so it stays in place. And then on top of that, you're gonna go with this big washer spacer. It's, uh, we have some of our older kits. This is black in our newer kits. This is a stainless steel. So that guy goes on first and sandwiches right on top of that bump stop perch. Next thing to go on is gonna be this taller black spacer. Again, I think on some of our older kits, these may have been, some of them may have been raw aluminum, and there is a taller and a shorter spacer. We'll use a shorter spacer later. For now, just the taller one. Then around that taller spacer goes this, the thinner uh, urethane bumper. That guy goes right there. It floats around just like that. That's perfectly normal. Then on top of all of that goes your top hat. So that goes in there like that. Then, on top of the top hat is finally this little black spacer. And then you do your top nut. For our purposes right now, we're going to use a different top, a different nut on top, because just a not locking nut, just so that we can show you uh, how to measure preload a little more easily. This, uh, when you're measuring preload, it's best to have something up there to hold everything in place. Oh, and also you've got this... Uh, I think it's a Delrin spacer or a UHMV, something like that down here. That's just to help everything slide as uh, the spring compresses. So to measure preload, what you're going to do, we like to use a caliper here. You can use a tape measure, anything. First things first, you need to know how long your spring is. So our spring right here, 307 millimeters long. In this particular car, we want about 60 millimeters of preload, so we want 247 to be our measurement here. Because you take your 307, subtract the amount of preload you want to do. 47. Close enough. And then your preload, this number, you want to set right here. You don't want it to be loose. You don't want it to be too tight. You just want it to be nice and snug in there. Your rubber up here is gonna compress a little bit. Everything down here is gonna uh, compress a little bit, but you want it to be pretty much right there. This one, obviously we had preset. Then once you've got that set, you can tighten these guys right here. And then yeah, all you need to do after that, Take this guy back off. Throw your spring on there. Make sure you've got your logo upright. And then on goes the top hat. And obviously in order to actually fully assemble this, we'll have to put this guy in our spring compressor and pull this, pull this down so that we can actually get the nut on. But that is how you do it.